Well, so so tell me about um, the uh, the business a little bit in terms of what you guys do. So obviously you, you've been guiding people for a while. You know, what do you do with Blackwater? What's what's that like? And <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So Blackwater, we um, we're an outfitter. Um, and so basically what we do is we get with landowners um, who are either wanting to lease property or wanting to bring business in on their property. So there's a lot of landowners that just want to lease outright lease property um, to make a flat fee, you know, um, sorry, to no, make a okay. flat fee off of, off of the lease. And so when it comes to a situation like that, they're looking at their property and they may have whatever, 5,000 acres and, and, you know, they say they want $10 an acre. So we write them a check for $50,000 and then the property is ours for the hunting rights for a one year period. And we go in and, and um, you know, I'll look at it and go, okay, we can harvest 20 whitetail bucks and this many whitetail does and this many pigs and this many turkeys. And then we, uh, you know, we bring our clients to do that. And then we also have landowners that are on contract basis where, you know, um, it could be somebody like yourself that invests in property or whatever, and and you've got a nice ranch in Texas. You've got all these exotics and wildlife species on there. Um, you're not in the hunting business, but you know that has to have value. And so you contact us, and and we look through there and go, okay, you know, David, we'll pay you this much for each axis and this much for each black buck and blah blah blah. And then we'll bring our clients in and run our operation in there. Um, and then, you know, give you a return on your, on your money that way. And so what Blackwater does is we've done a really good job um, with another partner of mine in a different company to work really hard on making um, Blackwater a very easy to find and highly sought after um, online presence for an outfitter. Um, so I think it's 30 out of the 36 species we offer to hunt were either number from number one to number three on the front page of Google. And, um, and so we're very easy to find. We have right now we're getting upwards of 4,000 hunting requests per month. Wow. Um, nice. And so, yeah. And so, you know, it makes it easy for us to work with these landers on this. And these guys are coming to our website and they're searching, you know, an access hunt. They want to do an access hunt in Texas. So they search that and we pop up and we list kind of uh, what all the options we have, where the price points are and what all's included. And then those guys, you know, they'll pay us a deposit usually of a couple hundred dollars and, and our office manager, Brandy, will get the whole hunt scheduled for them. And then they show up, um, you know, on the day of their hunt. And one of our guides will start from that point forward. Uh, it's usually including lodging and meals and everything like that. And so we'll get their stuff into the lodge. We'll take them out and start hunting. Uh, if they har harvest an animal, we clean it and cape it and quarter it and get it in an ice chest for them or take it to a um, Josh Gunther uh, who owns Rustic Reminders. We take it to him for, for taxidermy. Um, and, you know, he'll mount the animal to hang back in their trophy room. Um, and then at, at nights we're doing, you know, um, kind of entertainment deal where we're, we're sitting around the campfire telling jokes doing whatever cooking the steaks for them and cleaning up the mills when it's all said and done and so it's we've got it to where it's a really seamless process that's been great for blackwater because anybody can come to but usually once we're last year we were 87 percent repeat business from the year before nice. um so once you get into blackwater you see that hey, it's really seamless. You know, it was easy for me to find these guys. Brandy in the office did a great job making me feel comfortable that I was spending my money with the right people. And then when you get to the ranch, our guides, our guides go through a six month training program before they're allowed to go out on their own. Uh, we pay our guides very well. So it's not that it's not an issue where you might have somebody cutting corners because they're not, you know what I mean? They're not being taken care of. These guys are being taken care of. And so they're doing things the right way. Um, we also put a heavy emphasis on them on, on tips because it is customary in our industry for a guy to come on a hunt and then tip just like you would tip a waitress. And so we actually keep at Blackwater very, um, very thorough tabs on what our guys are getting tipped. Now we don't take any of their tip money, but we keep tabs on that because, you know, if, if John gets tipped nothing and one ranch over, David gets tipped a thousand dollars, then 
you know, what is David doing right that John's doing wrong? And we can sit down and work that out in our group times. At the end of every year, I take the guys on a big trip and, and we have fun, but we also have a meeting and re, you know, recap the you know, year end meeting, just like I'm sure you do. And, and, um, and make sure that we're all on the same page and everybody's benefiting from being organized. And that's our big deal in Blackwater is, you know, you can, there's a lot of people that are in this business. I want to say there's somewhat of 5,000 outfitters in the, in the state of Texas. Wow. Um, yeah. And so a lot of it, you know, is, is older guys that have been doing this their whole life. A lot of it is, is guys, you know, that are just equally or as good as Blackwater at, at being organized and doing stuff. And then there's some guys that, you know, they're fly by the seat of their pants, try to make a couple bucks and get out of there. And so what I learned was because I've been in that, situation before you know when I first started it was how do I make 200 bucks you know how do I make 300 bucks what's the fastest way to get this in and put some money in my pocket and I don't care as long as I got money in my pocket I don't care about the future or investing it or or holding on to it I just got to make it to the next day you know and um, then I learned uh, from some very good mentors that were outside of the outfitting business but still in the in the hunting business like guys like brooks johnson who owned double bull and stuff like that that the more organized you are the more streamlined your business is where people can go hey we went step a to step d and there was no screw-ups and everything worked out like it was read on the pamphlet that it was supposed to work out well people don't just want to spend their money with you after that they're begging to find the next spot to get in you know and so once we figured out that the organization um of streamlining a business was the model that people appreciated and not so much just do you have a pretty ranch with nice animals on it um you know, we started doing that. And then that led into all these other people that had the pretty ranches that we actually needed going, Hey, you guys are organized and I can trust you and you got your insurance and come out here and, and, you know, use my place. And it's been, uh, it's just been heaven since ever since for, you know, for something like that to happen for us. Well, congratulations, man. I mean, what a, what a process. I'm sure that was no overnight success. I mean, that was, I'm sure years, <laughs> years of working out the logistics and years of mistakes to get stuff hammered out. <laughs> <laughs>